All right, y'all, we are live on this beautiful Monday morning. Blessings to everybody. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua the Messiah, I do pray everybody is very blessed on this beautiful Monday. Shout out to J Boy Bullish. Shout out to Seedful Music. Shout out to KV Hups. Guys, FOMO into the like button. Let's see if we can get 1,000 likes during this stream, y'all. We will be live momentarily. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. Well, we are live. Uh, let's see if we can adjust the office. We are live on this beautiful Monday morning, guys. Wow, would you look at what is happening with Bitcoin right now? We are getting a significant move to the upside on the one-minute chart. Would you look at this? We have just gotten a pump up in one minute of about 0.6%. Let's discuss what has happened and why we are getting this move to the upside. Let's discuss why, exactly why, we are getting a move to the upside here. Shout out to everybody in the chat, guys. Make sure to FOMO into that like button. We've got about 500 people in the house. God bless all of you guys. Let's see if we can get 500 likes in here. Shout out to uh, Mintron, Bitcoin pumping. Indeed it is. Shout out to Edgar Para, who says, let's go, bro. Shout out to TK Movies. Shout out to Robert Bonar in the chat. Shout out to J Boy Bullish and Crypto Moz who says Bitcoin will dump. Cheers, my friend. Well, okay, let's talk about what has happened here. Why are we getting this move up? Okay. Because this is an exciting move, guys. Here's what has happened. Okay, here is what has happened. Now, yesterday I was talking about the potential of Bitcoin basically making a higher low at the bottom of this range here. I actually made a video about it last night. And um, one of the ideas that I have here is that potentially Bitcoin is printing a hidden bullish divergence on the four hour time frame. 
okay? Now, this was just an idea, a basic idea. When we take a look here at the um, order flow chart, right? When we take a look here at the order flow chart, let's go to the two hour time frame. We were looking at this yesterday a little bit as well here. I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but I am saying, look, throughout the majority of this range here, people have been shorting Bitcoin, right? People are short. We see them short, 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 shorting here. People are entering into the market, putting their capital up for risk, entering short trades, and yet the price, we were saying, if we're not able to take out these lows, it could lead to a short squeeze. Now, what happened last night was we actually did come down to the very important zone, this value area low of this range right here. Now, this was one of the long setups that we gave over in the Casper Crew VIP Discord, which was basically to take out this previous low with bullish divergences and get our bounce right from this zone hitting into that trend line. So shout out to everybody who took that long. Now, honestly, I was asleep for that opportunity, but look what happened as we actually did come down to this key zone right here. We were printing a green dot on the four hour time frame, but more importantly, on the one hour time frame, we were getting bullish divergence as we came right into that level. As we whipped down right into that zone, we were getting bullish divergence on Market Cypher B, giving us that coveted uneven butt cheek pattern with that very juicy left butt cheek and that very skinny right butt cheek. You know, that's. That skinny old uh, right butt cheek, like that uh, that waitress at the diner with the veins popping out of her neck, right? She's walking over the you, limping along. She's smoking a cigarette inside. She don't care. She don't care that they made smoking illegal inside. She's old school, right? Now here, look, when the price is coming down to that key support, and we've got these uh, Benjamins chilling over here in the right butt cheek, right? You know what I'm saying? That's what we got as we came down to the zone, okay? Now, also... When we take a look at some other things that have kind of culminated to give us this move to the upside just recently is uh, the fact that when we did come down to this area as well, we did get some we did get some some absorption of shorts, but more so when we take a look at what's happening right now, the S and P 500 has also just recently come down to get a chickens drink water from this previous low as well and so this kind of gave us a little confluence now to get that bounce to get that little bounce right we've come down to key support and we've had multiple bullish things happen and so we are getting a bounce and the question is are we going to continue up or are we simply going to just come up to this local zone of resistance which we can clearly see on our chart right here and get a rejection Okay, get a rejection, which is very, very possible. We're going to be talking about all of this and more today, guys. So make sure to like, make sure to share, make sure to subscribe. Because things are going to be getting pretty dang juicy in this live stream. Things are going to be getting pretty dang juicy in this live stream, guys. <laughs> so, uh, the, the question right now is, you know what is going to happen locally here with bitcoin okay because because right now chances are higher that we actually continue to the upside right now than that we continue lower and, and the reason why i say that is because when we are looking at this range here we are now trading above the high volume node the point of control and once we come above the point of control well then it's actually more probable than not that we make our way back up to this value area high now this value area high is a very, very interesting zone here because, you know, when we're looking at these higher term time frames, things are indeed looking pretty dang bearish, right? We look at our four hour time frame and, um, you know, we, we, we're, we're clearly seeing here the upside down Sam Bankman Freed bearish man boot pattern. Let's see if we can get them into view here, right? As the price is getting higher and higher into the key level. The key level of resistance, which was the trade setup we gave in the Casper Crew VIP Discord to short from 24K. As we came up to that key zone of resistance, we see Market Cypher B printing bearish money flow. Wow. And bearish divergences, right? So this is technically bearish. And so there is a good chance that as we're getting a rise here, we could actually look to short a rise. But, 
But, but, unless we take out these lows here, I am honestly, I, I am not going to get overly bearish because this so far to me, the fact that we are putting in higher lows every single time is actually bullish. And the fact that we're printing hidden bullish divergences on the four hour and regular bullish divergences on the lower term time frames is actually pretty bullish to me. Um, that is pretty dang bullish to me. So if we are going to find resistance on the way up, where are we going to be finding that resistance? The first place, guys, honestly, is literally right where we're at right now. And the reason is because we had this liquidity right up here. We have a one hour order block right around here. You can see that we, we came up literally to that one hour order block to the dang dollar. And uh, we've tapped right into it, right? I mean, pretty much to the dollar. So this could be the top. This could be it. This could be it. However, like we said, we're above this high volume node at 22885. So there is a chance, a pretty good chance in my opinion, that we actually do come up a little bit higher here. So if we pull our FIB from the swing high to the swing low, this is going to give us a nice zone of resistance around 23.6. However, something that's very, very interesting is what happened over the weekend with the Bitcoin futures chart, okay? Now, this, is a CME futures gap. Okay, what happened was on Friday, the futures market closed at 23,490, and on Sunday it opened up at 23,200. Now, the way these things tend to work is if the price is going to come up above this zone here, right? It's very probable that we will fill this gap. But the way it works is this first line that we're currently at right now could actually be acting as our resistance, right? If we reject here, that means that was our resistance. But if we come up here and start to trade inside this zone, then it's very probable that we fill all the way back up to the 23,485 zone, which is the CME gap. And more times than not, these gaps do fill, right? More times than not, these gaps do fill. And the reason why these gaps fill more times than not is because, well, they just do. I can't give you a reason as to why, but look at look at past gaps, right? Let's go to the daily time frame and let's take a look at some past gaps that we have gotten here, okay? Look at this one that we got a few weeks ago, right over here on Friday, January 20th, the market closed right here at 22,375, right? We can go ahead and put a horizontal line, 22,375. Look what happened on Wednesday. We came back with down literally to fill that gap almost to the exact dollar before getting continued movement now to the upside, right? So this happens all the time, right? This happens all the time. We can see also uh, whenever we get some kind of strange gap over the weekend, most of the time these things fill. Now here's something else. Speaking of being bearish, I know a lot of people are very bearish right now. We also have a gap to the downside at 19,550, right? 19,550. So it is very possible, y'all, that we do come up, put in some kind of a lower high, and then actually lose the range to the downside. Like this is very, very, this is a plausible scenario to happen. But um, again, for right now, for right now, I am looking at this saying there is a real potential here. We could short squeeze and take out the high. You know, if we take a look also at a uh, TPO chart, okay, man, uh, we have a pretty big decrease of open interest here. Longs are taking profit, shorts are getting wrecked. Longs are taking profit, shorts are getting wrecked. If we take a look at a TPO chart, guys, when we look at the high that was put in, let's see if we can zoom out, and take a look at the high that was put in. We can see something very interesting about it, which is this. We don't have a selling tail. What does that mean? A selling tail shows that there is a there's big money looking to defend a certain level, right? A good high when put in would have a lot of shorts coming in, a lot of selling pressure up high at the top, right? And this would leave behind something called a selling tail. Let me see if I can show you an example of a selling tail. This is a selling tail right here. At this high that we put in over here, you could see there was a selling tail. There was a lot of selling pressure up here to push price back down pretty quick. 
but when we came up to our current high we don't see that okay now this oftentimes will mean that there's unfinished business at the high and we can see that throughout the entirety pretty much not all the time but a lot of times throughout the entirety of these highs that we've been putting in uh here we have not had the selling tail like for example the first high that we put in here that could have been a significant top back on the 20th of january right no selling tail and so we were saying there's a good chance that we come back up to revisit that high and sure enough we came back up to revisit that high so there is a lot of reasons why we very well may get a short squeeze here including but not limited to the fact that there are way more shorts that need to get wrecked right here in this consolidation zone than longs right and if there is going to be a pullback here i would say getting a short squeeze like this all the way up to the top would do a great job at providing liquidity for bigger players to then fill up a nice big short order okay now when we take a look again at um this chart let's turn on our cme gap because this is going to be pretty key here our cme gap look at this guys cme gap right up here we have our value area high we have our cme gap and we have our golden pocket right all in this zone now if we come above this zone right here this green box th this green box is key resistance if we're gonna dump we cannot in my opinion come above this green box and the reason is guys the reason why i don't want to come above this green box is because if we do there's very very little volume that has traded up here right there's very very little volume that has traded up here and so we could very very easily just come right back up to grab out these highs now let's see if we do that if we do i will absolutely be looking for a juicy short position from up there i absolutely will So we are continuing to get a move up. Let's check out how this order book is looking here. We will go to the five minute time frame and take a look what is happening here. Wow. So interesting guys, we actually have a lot of shorts opening up right here. We have a lot of shorts opening up right here at this high. Very interesting. A lot of shorts are coming in right now. Uh, about 700,000 shorts after a big decrease of open interest. So we see a lot of longs are currently still open here, right? We've had a lot of people long this move up. A lot of people longed after the big pump started. People longed. We saw a lot of shorts get wrecked here. Now we're starting to see a few shorts come in. Let's see how this actually turns out. Okay, let's see if these shorts actually bring us down or... If it leads to just more of a short squeeze. Very, very interesting times, guys, to see what is going to happen here. Um, this is this is gonna be very, very interesting to actually watch play out right now. Um, so let's let's do some more local analysis here. Because right now, this is just the range that we are trading. This is a nice volatile move here, a nice range that we are trading. Let's pull our fib from the low to the high. And let's see what is going on. Wow. So a few things that are quite interesting here. Uh, number one, I would say, you know, a move back down to this golden pocket zone could be actually a nice support to hold here because it's a pretty clearly defined low. It was a low once, twice, three, four times, and now it's a Fibonacci golden pocket confluence with the high volume node. We could do something like this. That is one possibility. The second possibility that I am kind of looking at, guys, is coming up somewhere into this zone for a rejection right coming up into this zone for some kind of a rejection here personally i do think that we are going to come up a little bit higher here after seeing all the signs the bullish signs the four hour the one hour the 24 minute the 12 minute the one minute seeing that the s p 500 did come down and get a um a cdw of this low here while bitcoin was also just front running key support of the golden pocket you know, let's see what happens as the S&P 500 comes back to test this daily level at 41.37. And also, we need to keep our eyes on the dollar. Look at this, guys. The dollar absolutely did start to dump here. And right now, a key level for the dollar is going to be 103.479.
If the dollar loses 103,479, this to me is the doorway to more pumpage for Bitcoin and for uh, the S&P as well. So we need to really, really keep our eyes on that one. All right, let's see what is happening. We've got some shorts coming in here, guys. We've got a new increase in open interest. After a lot of people left the market here, we can see new people are now entering into the market, right? People have left the market. Now people are entering into the market. And we can see shorts are coming in. Shorts are really coming in here. Um, look at this. Pretty much this entire way up. Shorts are entering. Some longs as well, but we do see open, incre open interest increasing, showing us people are interested now in getting involved in the market after a big move. And actually, the majority of them are interested in shorting the market right here. Now, um, I can't say that that's necessarily a bad move, uh, but uh, it's definitely not a move that I would take. It's definitely not a move that I would take. We have to, we do have to be very, very careful here because, you know, if if we if we don't make a lower low, this could this could really result in. Um, in some nice some nice bullish cvd like look at this we have shorts coming in we have open interest increasing here this is going to be our key level right now to watch if we lose this level we could come down a lot more but if we hold this level it could be very very bullish could be very very bullish let's trade this as a local range right here guys let's trade this as a local range we will turn off our All these nonsensical things that we have on our Fibonacci. And let's watch to see what happens here. Okay, I'm treating this right now as kind of like a local range with our clearly defined low right here at 22.944 and a clearly defined high right up here. All right. And right now, key support is going to be this zone right here. This Fibonacci golden pocket 786 retracement right about here. Right. If we lose this, that to me is bearish. If we hold this, that to me is bullish, showing that we are going to get more of a move to the upside. So we really need to be paying attention right now to this. And by the way, y'all, if you do want to join the Casper Crew VIP Discord, where we do three live streams a day, giving the levels, giving the trade setups, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. Also, 0% limit fees on Bybit if you... Have a strategy and or good strategies and risk management. This is definitely a good deal. Also, we do have a 20% discount on both trading courses, guys. The original comprehensive course as well as the order flow specialization course. 20% discount off on both courses. Link in the description. So let's come back over to our order flow chart here. Again, we do see potentially bullish cvd forming right here we see shorts are entering into the market but the price is unable to get lower this is telling me there is more upside again when we came down to bottom out here we saw very bullish signs hidden bullish divergence on the four hour time frame regular bullish divergence on the one hour time frame here and now we are getting another trigger wave on the one hour money flow is getting higher here I think we can definitely get another move to the upside right now, guys. I think that, especially if we're going to be holding this level here, we can get a move to the upside. Now, we do have to be aware of a chicken's drink water, okay? Which is basically, we come up to the high, get the rejection. Usually what happens after a big move up like this is we start to form a local range similar to this. And this is where we need to be pulling out our levels and getting prepared for some kind of a move here, right? Because basically, whenever Bitcoin gets a big move, we should stay calm and then we should be looking for the range to form. And we can even be doing this on the one minute chart. What we want to do is we want to take note of that first significant low. We want to take note of that first significant high. And then we want to take note of where is the Fibonacci golden pocket retracement going to be coming in. If we, for example, come down and we lose the Fibonacci golden pocket retracement, then we look to just grab that liquidity and then get a move to the upside. If we start to do that, we want to now pull our Fib from the high to the low. There's so many things we can do to get into trades. 
volatility is a trader's best friend right when you, we are doing nothing it's very very frustrating but once we start to get some volatility now we can always be looking okay where's that next level where i can get interested into the market so right now we are getting a little bit of a move to the upside on the one minute time frame let's check out the order book what is happening here so we see the shorts coming in still guys shorts still coming in open interest increasing okay again this purple box let me make it a little bit deeper some some nice white will make it white and thick by the way shout out to my wife big butts 28 love you babe yeah so this box here this is the zone that has to hold in order for us to see that absorption of these shorts coming in here a lot of people have just shorted the market a lot a lot of people are currently shorting the market right now so let's see what happens here now guys I'm still holding short trades I'm still holding multiple short and long trades here still in the trades over here short and long on Bitcoin as you can see short from the top of the range long from the low of the range also on Bybit short from the top of the range and um, by the way everyone always asks about the music it is space wave space mix space journey royalty free copyright music and um, yeah I'm still holding those trades we are watching this play out here as you can see I've been very not so generous with the take profits on the short trades guys because I do recognize the fact that we could be dumping here and when I say from here I mean from 24k all right so we're still seeing the shorts come in guys we're seeing more and more shorts come in here let's watch what happens right here this white box is going to be very very critical to see what happens here on the white box all right the white box let's see what happens here all right potential bullish divergence open interest increasing as we come down to the 618 slash 786 Fibonacci level okay shout out to everybody in the chat wow we have about a thousand people in here only 200 likes guys make sure to FOMO into that like button make sure to smash up the likes shout out to Chon town who says we pump uh, Zach says nice to see the bullish div playing out on the dollar crypto face says dump we very well may dump but uh, Aladdin says we're at monthly open uh, adding to shorts says crypto sauce I'm hesitant to add to my shorts I'm very hesitant to add to my shorts um, you know I would rather just stick with my nice entries from the high than add to my shorts because again man you know this is very very I, I, th I think we're right for a short squeeze guys I think we're right for a short squeeze um, there's just a lot of things that make me feel like we could really squeeze so it so in order to be cautious I'm not going to be adding to my shorts I'm not going to be adding to them I'm going to be holding them and I'm actually in a pretty dang big short position right now um, because my exchange didn't load so I hit short once and nothing happened so I hit it again nothing happened I refreshed I had actually entered twice so I'm in double the position size I should be and I'm holding man because if we dump that's gonna be some juicy profits so all right we are coming down right now let's see what happens as we come to this box of support are we going to hold the box of support crucial I would say right now let's take a look at market cipher B how's market cipher B looking on like the one minute time frame right now about to print a trigger wave money flow getting thicker this is the make it or break it zone of the local range here we are pulling our fib are we going to hold in this zone let's see what happens here let's see what happens here guys very very exciting times very very exciting times here
Shout out to Space Lord Mother Effer who says, Woof, woof, woohoo. Well, woohoo to you too, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. God bless you. All right. You know, beautiful, beautiful confluence down there at the uh, at that high volume node. Let's see. Let's see what happens here, guys. Let's let's see. I'm I'm stoked on this price action. This is some good stuff going on finally right here. Uh, all right. Yeah, we are starting to see some traders close out of their positions here. Let's see who's closing out. Who's closing out? Longs and shorts closing out. People are like, eh, you know, I should probably, I don't trust this flag thing forming here, this weird range thing. I don't really trust it. What is going on? We're starting to form a trigger wave now on the one minute time frame. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Let's check out the S&P 500. Getting a pump. Now, S&P 500 is coming up to a key support resistance flip, 41.3750. So, if we come up to 41.3750 and we get a rejection, we could also expect Bitcoin to get a rejection as well, right? So, we do need to be careful here. Let's check out our good friend, the DXY. DXY, looking sly, getting a move back up to the upside. Coming in. 12-minute time frame. One-minute time frame on the dollar. Honestly, looking kind of bullish. This this might be, you know, if you are long, this is definitely a great time to tease and pee. It's definitely a great time to take some profits. Let's come back over here and see what's happening. We are coming down to this zone. This is the moment of truth for Bitcoin. The moment of truth. Okay? Are we going to find support here or are we going to fall right through? We can see... Divergence is forming in this zone. Let's see what happens here. It's time for the big moment. Here we are in the box. Let's extend the box to the right. We are in the box, guys. Inside this box, the box of wonder, the box of mystery. What is going to happen? And the music agrees, guys. Things are very mysterious. Right, we have just hit now officially the bottom of the box the 786 look at that starting to get a blue candle to the upside right now very small very small blue candle back to the purple candle uh oh uh oh whoa uh -oh. this could be the invalidation guys this could be the invalidation we need to be watching very carefully here. This is make it or break it. Make it or break it. What is going to happen right here? Let's check out the dollar. The dollar should be telling us what's going to happen. Dollar is pumping, guys. The dollar is pumping right now. Dollar is pumping. Oof. Not looking so good for Bitcoin. The S&P 500 also getting a move to the downside. Not looking the best for Bitcoin, guys. Back to our chart here. Oof. Not looking the best. Okay, now we have new traders entering into their positions. More shorts coming in. Flooding in right here. Shorts flooding in. Longs getting stopped out of their positions right here. This is a crucial moment for the Bitcoin price action. A crucial, crucial moment here. As the 24 minute time frame is also starting to top out here. Is this going to be our local top? Is this all we had, Bitcoin? Is this all we had? I don't know. Like... You know, is that it? Is that really it? Wow, that would be crazy. You know, we do have to be aware right now of a potential retest down at this level as well. But um, 
yeah, you know, we came to that box and man, not holding the box, guys. So this is bearish. This is bearish. And right now, the only other hope we would have locally, and I'm talking about in a one minute range, would be this last blue line of support. And if we can't hold this last blue line of support, well, we could give back everything that we've just given. And then the entire premise, the entire bullish narrative, the mainstream narrative. Let's watch what happens here. This is this is so crucial. Not looking. Let's see. Come on. You know, if we if we can if we can come back above this blue line right here, we're trying to do it. This blue line is key. It's not looking so hot. Okay, the bullish narrative, the mainstream narrative. Okay, they've been feeding us one narrative. You know what I'm saying? It could be off. It could be wrong. We're starting to read some other articles, do our own research. Very dangerous stuff, right? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The Bitcoin price is absolutely dumping right now as we're printing a purple candle, losing the key zone of support right now after attempting to wick back up to it. Looks like the bears are in control. We come over to the order flow chart again. Let's go to a five minute time frame to kind of zoom out here and see what is happening. Wow. So look at this guys, longs are getting absolutely wrecked right now. Longs are getting absolutely wrecked right now. Closing out of their positions, more shorts are actually opening, coming in right now. So let's come back to our chart. What is happening? We are coming back down to potentially, potentially, maybe bounce from the Fibonacci golden pocket retracement. This could be our hope. All right, this Fibonacci golden pocket right here could be our hope. Let's see what happens as we come down to that level. Are we doing anything bullish on the one minute as we come down to it? Eh, not particularly, right? Not particularly. The only thing we have uh, for, for any kind of hope here is the fact that it is a support resistance flip. But we're not really seeing any bullish divergences as we get this big move to the downside here, right? We're not really seeing any kind of bullish div. But nonetheless, this is a retest of a high volume node of a range. Confluence with a golden pocket. Confluence with a support resistance flip. Okay, so it is something that we do need to be aware of. Let's go ahead and put on right now our price lines. So we can see the price more clearly, at least so I can see the price more clearly here. And let's check out the S&P 500. What is happening with the S&P? Also, getting a move back down here, okay? After just front running that key level support resistance flip and our good friend, the DXY, ooh, getting a slight rejection from the 786. Very, very interesting. The 786, guys, a very tough fib level right here. She has a beard and she will definitely beat you up. So you got to watch out for that 786. Bitcoin printing a green dot on the one minute time frame. Let's check out the order book once again. What is happening here? Wow. Wow. Longs absolutely wrecked in this candle. Absolutely wrecked. Closing out of their positions. Decided not to buy high. Decided it was a bad idea to long the top. Guys, it's always a bad idea to long the top. We, we want to short the top and long the bottom now. For me, this is an arbitrary zone. This is an arbitrary zone. And the reason why I say it's an arbitrary zone is because for me, this is not high enough for me to short. So I'm looking still up for higher prices here. We'll come back to our one hour time frame, And we will recognize the fact here that we did so far bounce from a support resistance flip. And we also must recognize the fact that when we look at the sideways range here on the one hour time frame, indeed, that high volume node is coming in just below us here, confluence with the more local Fibonacci golden pocket at around 22,895. 22,895 uh, is a very, I would say, key zone support resistance flip here. So if we are indeed going to get a move up to this box, I would say that in order to maintain the bullish market structure, we do need to bounce from this area if we want to see this high. Now, when we look at the higher time frames, we still do see potential bullish upside here, right? We still see potentially bullish upside here. When we look at the four hour, we still see a potential bullish move to the upside with the green dot. When we look at the 24 minute time frame, we are also seeing momentum and money flow getting higher here. This is actually looking pretty dang bullish, I have to say. 
right? I think there is still room for upside here. I really, really do. In fact, let's see if we can come down to test that high volume node slash golden pocket with maybe some lower time frame bullish divergence. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see how is the dollar going to be reacting here? What is the dollar doing at that 786 fib level? Oh, the dollar is kind of getting a little bit of a move to the downside at that 786 fib level, guys. You get what I'm saying, right? You get what I'm saying, right? Dollar's getting moved to the downside. Bitcoin's starting to get a little move to the upside right here. Maybe we will even front run that Fibonacci golden pocket, right? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. We can't know, right? But we do know and we can know that we're waiting for our levels to the upside and to the downside here to make a decision. And right now, one of the key levels I have to the downside to potentially get a bounce from is going to be this white line right here around 22,895. 22,895, that is going to be key. So if the dollar keeps dumping like that, if the dollar keeps dumping like this and we come down to that support, it could be a nice move. If the S&P 500, you know, still coming up, could be a nice move. Let's kind of wait and see what happens here. Let's wait and see what happens. You know, the suspense is killing me, guys. Shout out to everybody in the chat right now. We got about 1,200 people in here, only about 400 likes. Make sure to FOMO into the like button, guys. Why do I trade USD and not USDT? Because the chart is respected better, my friend. Uh, one minute hidden bullish div on Mark Cypher B could turn out to something good. Uh, shout out to uh, Name Unknown who says, I'm going on from 22883 with a tight SL. VWAP plus 618. Is that also VWAP? Let's check out VWAP right now. Let's check out VWAP. VWAP, VWAP, let's check out VWAP. Guys, thank you so much. God bless everybody. Thank you guys so much for actually taking the time to uh, to watch me on YouTube. You know, that is crazy and mind-blowing that people actually watch me on YouTube. So that's our weekly VWAP. Let's see where's our daily VWAP here. Weekly and daily VWAP are actually the same right now. Yeah, so the local 618, the point of control, the VWAP, that's actually is looking like a nice potential zone to uh, get a little long, baby. To see if we can get a little, catch a little bounce, if you know what I mean. Catch a little bounce. Let's see, how is our dollar doing? Ooh, dollar making a higher high though, guys. But with bearish divergences. So this actually could be a significant high for the dollar, right? We put in a real high here, we've come up to the golden pocket zone, rejection from the golden pocket. We've come up to the 786, rejection from the 786, right? What did she do? She took her chin and started to rub it against our face and we've <laughs> that made us get the heck out of there. Let me tell you something, you know? And um, shout out to Bitcoin game. Look at the reversal candle, the 15 minute at the top. Yeah, yep, I see. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of reversal candles. I'll be honest with you. I'm really not the biggest fan of reversal candles. I don't really look at them very much anymore. I used to a lot. But, uh, okay, let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get a little bounce from this zone. We very well may be able to. How's the dollar? Not looking very bearish. So, the, if the dollar's looking bullish, guys, I am not necessarily feeling that bearish. Uh, I'm sorry, that bullish on Bitcoin. If, if, if the dollar's looking bullish, I'm not feeling that bullish on the Bitcoin. Let's kind of see what happens. The S&P also getting that move to the downside, guys. So let's go down now to our one minute time frame because if we don't see anything bullish here, this could be it. And honestly, money flow is looking pretty dang low here. Let's check out the order book. What is happening in real time? We have shorts opening up, longs closing out. Let's go down even lower here and take a look at what is happening. nothing too much happening let's see if we get some kind of crazy thing going on actually at this um let's see if we do get something very interesting happening at this vwap zone right like uh like a whole bunch of people fomoing short or something could give us a significant move up but we can't know for certain right here we cannot know for certain so let's see what is going to be happening here oh man oh man oh man oh man oh man oh man that's all I have to say right now. Oh man, oh man, oh man. All right, dollar getting a little move down. S&P 500 getting a little move up. Bitcoin getting another move up. 
Maybe this is it, guys. Maybe this is the big breakout. I don't know. Let's wait and see. Support resistance flip right about here. Can we break out of this level right now? This is going to be key. How's our 12 minute looking? Red dot on the 12. How's our 24 minute looking? Looking like we could curve down. I do have to say, although it looks like we could get a red dot on the 24 minute, I, it does look a little bit bullish to me still, right? Maybe this was just a retracement here. Just a little retracement on the way down, you know? Let's see what happens right here. This is very, very interesting price action. Very, very interesting PA. And the dollar for another move back up as we are chopping back and forth on this beautiful Monday morning here. On this beautiful Monday morning as we are chopping back and forth, we're going to take a zoomed out look here at this order flow chart and just see what has been happening here. Wow. This move up has happened on a decrease of open interest. Majority of this move up has been shorts getting wrecked, guys. And remember, when we take a look at the higher term time frames here and we remove all the drawings on this chart and we go to, let's say, even the four hour time frame, it becomes undeniable that the potential for a short squeeze is very, very real. Very, very real here. Um, I mean, look at this, guys, right? Unable to make a lower low for two weeks, unable to do it. What does this tell us? Look at what has happened here. CBD getting lower throughout the entire range. Also, open interest getting much higher throughout the entire range. Telling us there are way more shorts here to get wrecked than there are longs. Way more shorts to get wrecked here than there are longs. So yeah, would not surprise me guys. We have come down to the bottom of, of the range last night right here. Okay, we are now above the high volume node of the range. We are keeping our eyes on the 23,900-ish dollar level where we have a confluence between the VWAP, the local golden pocket, and the high volume node of the range. Let's check out our one minute time frame here. Now we can really be looking for some potential pig nipple divergences coming up here. Pig nipple divergences are basically where we have like uh, this kind of thing going on here, just like a pig's nipples where the little piglets come up to drink from each one of these little teats here that is exactly what we're going to be looking for in fact can i find a picture of pig nipple divergences let's see uh pig nipples uh oh i probably shouldn't be searching for this i feel like something bad might come up let's see here here we go guys pig nipple divergences right here for you okay you see how the pig nipples get higher and higher and higher and higher as the price comes lower. Very similar to the uneven butt cheek pattern, okay? But this is happening now on a lower term time frame. So let's see if we can get another little move down and get something kind of going on like this here, you know? Otherwise, we might not be able to get into it. You know, your boy Jason's been getting front run all morning with the longs. I was waiting for a little bit lower to long this morning, and now I'm waiting for a little bit lower now. But it looks like your boy is just out of luck. Looks like I'm just going to have to hold on to the longs that I'm already in, right? Which is fine with me. I will hold the longs I'm in, but jeez, man. Are we really going to blast off without me now? Open interest coming down. Let's go come to the five-minute time frame here and see what exactly is happening. Okay, what is happening here? Not very much. Not very much. We have some shorts opening up. Not very much. Let's see here. Do we have any kind of... No, like, not, not particularly, no. Not particularly, no. But we are nonetheless getting a move to the upside here. I'm ready. I'm ready to pull the trigger, guys. I'm ready to pull the trigger. I'm getting ready to pull the dang trigger. But you know what? I might not get the moment. I might not get the opportunity to pull the trigger, guys. What do you guys think? 
Shout out, shout out, shout out to Leptin Flow for the super chat. Enjoying the course, about 75% finished already. Bought the advanced course also. He says, y'all check it out and hit the like. Front double bicep pose. People say I have no shoulders. You guys think I have no shoulders? Dang, that's depressing, man. I actually think I have pretty good shoulders compared to most guys. I always thought my shoulders were like one of my strong points. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Leptin Flow. Man, well, your boy Jason Casper missed the move again, guys. Jeez. You know, let's see what can happen here, but uh, maybe we can come down a little bit more. Shout out to Space Lord Mother Effer. Glad I found you. You trade like me, which means you're smart. <laughs> Shout out to you, bro. God bless you, man. Uh, the Pig Nipple Mafia. <laughs> the Pig Nipple Mafia. That's so funny. I guess you got some regular nipples and guns on your uh, on your profile picture there, so that's good, man. Guys, make sure to FOMO into the like button. We got 1,200 people in here. We only have about 500 likes. Bad for the self-esteem. All right, let's pull out some fibs now, guys. Let's pull out some fibs. You know, your boy's getting ready to pull the dang trigger. Gonna put 100 grand on the trade. You know, gotta get ready. Gotta make sure my hair looks good because if I lose 100 grand, I gotta go upstairs and tell my wife about it. I better look good. Because then she'll be like, you know, Jason, it's a good thing you look good. Otherwise, I'd be leaving you. And I'm like, yep, yep, you know, that's what everyone always tells me my whole life. So let's see. Now remember, we've got the Fibonacci Golden Pocket Retracement right here. I don't know if we're going to hit it, guys. I really don't know. But this is the long zone for me right here. This is the retest zone, you know. I should have front run it, but, you know, I just don't front run stuff. So sometimes I do. But it's not a good habit to get into, right? So, let's see. We are getting ready to pull the dang trigger. But I don't know if I'm going to get to. I don't know. Shout out to everybody in the chat, by the way. God bless all of you guys. Shout out to JC, my man. Should I, uh, should I, um, should I make a, the trading course and the workout plan one? Let me know in the chat. And also, uh, shout out to Harry who says gyno nipple divs. Yes, it's actually called the, um, it's called the Sam Bankman Freed bearish man boob market cipher B pattern, right? The Sam Bankman Freed, the, the dreaded, in fact, let's, let's see if we can pull it up here. Actually, we can see it very, very clearly on this chart. We can see it very, very, very clearly on this chart. There it is. The Sam Bankman Fried upside down market cipher B man boob pattern. Okay, where as Sam Bankman Fried's man breasts, breasticles, and the mammary, the mammary ticklers are getting lower with the red nipples tattooed. As the price is getting higher into key resistance, that is called a upside down Sam Bankman Free bearish man boob pattern. We can see it very clearly right here on Market Cipher B. This is why we took the short from $24,000. The short from $24,000. Still in it, by the way. I'm still in literally two shorts from that zone. From that zone. So let's see how this plays out, guys, because. Again, as you can see, I have not taken much profit from these shorts because I do recognize the fact that a big dump could be coming. But uh, I am feeling more bullish than I have. Oh my goodness, this chart is just the most sloppiest thing in the world. Can you get this guy off of here, man? Get this guy off of here. Now, here's the thing. If we don't dump from this pattern, even SBF can't dump Bitcoin, then you know it's bullish, man. You know it's bullish right so here is something we really need to be aware of and i i know i went over this in the beginning of the stream here guys but one of the reasons why i have been feeling bullish at these lows is because of the fact that we are um again we're unable to make that lower low and we're coming down to support. So, uh, man, I, I feel a short squeeze coming on. Dang it. Ah, I wish I was in a long, like a fresh, a freshie. I wish I was in a freshie. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get in a freshie over here. Is your boy going to be able to get into a freshie? 
What is gonna happen? Am I crazy for feeling bullish? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a poll over here. All right, I'm gonna make a poll. Am I crazy for feeling bullish? Let's take the poll, okay? Let's let's end our current poll. Most of you guys say to 100x long right now. I'm not gonna take that. I'm gonna start another poll. Am I crazy for being bullish? And let's see what you guys say. Am I crazy for being bullish right now? Look at this, guys. I mean, look at this. Look at this, right? This looks bullish to me. This Everything about this looks bullish to me. You know? Man. Front running levels like a crazy front running leveler up in here. You know, we just need an entry. We need an entry to present itself. We need to come down. We need some... We need some some juice up in here to get into another another long you know what i'm saying so this is our zone guys we are looking to get long baby i'm looking to get long uh tom crown says it's never crazy to be bullish nice shout out to tom crown make sure to go subscribe to tom crown's youtube channel cool you guys think i'm not crazy awesome Okay, so I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm not crazy for being bullish, but I am crazy for studying pig nipples. Well, guys, here's the thing: the pig nipples, they are good at getting you into trades. Hey, y'all, OGs of the Jason Casper channel, you know that these pig nipples, they get you into some good trades, right? Okay, we're coming back down to the Fibonacci Golden Pocket support. I'm getting excited. I got my finger on the trigger, for no reason, right? Just walking around, finger on the trigger all the time, totally reckless. Loaded and everything, one in the chamber, finger on the trigger, just waving that thing all around, you know? Just being a total reckless nut job right now. Ready to pull that trigger. How's the ES looking? <clears throat> ES is dumping down. Dumping down like crazy, okay? ES is looking bearish. Shout out to K-Town Crypto King who says, arriving pump T. I don't know what that is, but if the ES is dumping like this, ooh, the dollar as well, getting a little dumperoni and cheese, but... The dollar has just put in a higher high with another bearish divergence here, okay? Now, let's keep in mind, too, the dollar is coming up to a Fibonacci golden pocket up here. A Fibonacci golden pocket up here. So that is an area of um, resistance that we really do have to be aware of. Bitcoin still holding 23 k and $6, 23K, $8.50 uh, right now. Uh, and the reason I know that, guys, is because I have officially upgraded my life and I have an iPad, so I basically have two monitors now for trading, which is nice. Is Bitcoin going to come down to our level? Am I going to get to pull the trigger? Should I FOMO into a long now? Should I FOMO into a 100x long right now? Let's take another poll. Should Jason Casper FOMO into a 100x long right now? You guys say I'm not crazy for being bullish. Okay. I forgot to even ask the poll. I forgot to add. I, I forgot to ask my community, right? Um, yeah, I forgot. I forgot to make the poll. All right, let's let's take a poll, a real poll. 100x leverage long. 100x lev long. Now? Question mark. Yes. Hang on. All right, we're taking the poll. 100x leverage long right now. What do you guys say? 100x long now? Right now? Let's head on over to the poll and see what you guys say. Wow, 58% say yes. 58% say yes. What are you guys trying to do? You trying to wreck me right now? A 100x leverage long right now? Oh my goodness. Is this really happening? All right. 56% say yes. 44% say no. Guys, what are you trying to do to me?
All right, I'm giving it a few minutes. I'm giving it a few minutes. What do you guys say? 100x levers long right now? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what's happening again in the order book, guys. Looks like we might. Looks like we might be getting uh, another little move down here. Let's let's kind of wait and see how this plays out, okay? Let's wait and see how this plays out. It is 12 o'clock noon, New York time. We saw a lot of shorts open up here, okay? We saw a lot of shorts open up here. Would be very curious to see what does happen if we come down to our long zone. You know? I can't believe you guys are trying to, I can't believe you guys are trying to pressure me into entering a 100x long, man. Man, that's some scary stuff, man. It's a good thing I don't give into peer pressure up in here. It's a good thing I don't give into peer pressure because Yeah, 100x long. That's dangerous stuff, man. That's the kind of stuff we only do in the Casper Crew VIP Discord on game day. All right, so we are honestly, I am looking for a potential long in this zone. Let's 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 check out our dollar. Ooh, she pumping, man. So here here's here's an idea. The dollar comes up to this resistance. Look at this S and P 500 though bouncing from support to the six one to to the dang dollar. Would you believe that the six one eight Fibonacci level to the dang dollar? The ES getting the bounce, but the ES also looking bearish on the 12, 24 minute money flow. How's the 12 minute looking? Also kind of bearish here. So let's zoom out. When in doubt, zoom out, man. When in doubt, zoom out. And yes, we have lost a key level. Let's pull some other local fibs, right? Some hometown six Juanitas up in here. If anybody doesn't know who six Juanita is, guys, six Juanita is my high school crush. The 618 fib level. And I didn't realize, you know, there was such a thing as the friend zone in high school. So I thought I had a chance romantically with this young lady. And I asked her out on a date and she absolutely rejected me. Left me very sad and depressed. And look at the rejection too. It was a sloppy one. Oh, the initial gut reaction that I had. Oh, oh. The pain, and then I thought I would be all right for a while, and then, ugh, even worse, right? But here's the thing. The reason why she rejected me isn't necessarily because she didn't like me, but she was very shallow. She only cared about what her friends thought, and her friend was right there looking at what was happening. As Bitcoin is coming down to 22,984 and zero cents, she saw her friend, her popular friend, the cheerleader friend, doing a, a backflip, hanging upside down, and of course... You know, the bearish divergence, guys. The opposite of the bullish divergence, right? The upside down, nothing but cheek pattern brought us down. And now we are looking for the regular uneven butt cheek pattern as we come down to this uh, level of support. Let's check out the one minute time frame here. Can we come down a little bit more here or are we going to keep pumping up? Should I have entered the 100x long? I don't know. We've got more and more shorts opening up here. Still, even in this candle. Wow, would you look at this one candle? 284,000 shorts. Jeez, man. 284,000 shorts in one candle? One little candle, huh? Okay, we get it. We get it. Man, I should have t I should have listened to you guys with the 100x long over here. I really should have listened to you. Man, we are not dumping right now, guys. We are not dumping. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Make sure to like the stream, guys. We got about 1,200 people in here. Only about 600 likes. Let's see if we can get the likes up to the watchers. Let's see if we can get the likes up to the watchers right now. Shout out to everybody in chat. God bless you guys. Thank you to everybody who's in chat participating. Y'all are the best. Should I ask Six Juanita for a date again? Nah, I don't think I don't think that she will she will answer me. That's right. It depends. It depends. Man, I should have went for the 100x long here, guys. Should have went for the 100x long. Look at this. 
You know, shorts opening up right here. Wrecked, man. Absolutely wrecked. And honestly, right here, we even do see some slightly bullish CBD forming very, very locally. Man. I'll tell you. I just can't get ahead today, guys. I can't get ahead today. Those in the Casper Crew VIP stream know that I was waiting to take a long from just a little bit lower. Just a little bit lower. I was looking to take a long from right about here. $22,703. Wanted to take a long from right down here. Didn't happen. Didn't happen, right? Then again, wanting to take a long from right at this level. Didn't happen. Didn't happen, right? Sometimes it happens, guys. And you know what? This is actually good. This is good that it's not happening. Do you know why? Because... As traders, we need to have plans. We need to stick to our plans. A good setup will come. If we don't stick to our plans and we start FOMO and X100 long because 1,200 people in the chat say so, you know, we could lose out. And let me tell you, the YouTube ad revenue, ad revenue doesn't cover that kind of loss, all right? I make about maybe about $18 per video these days, you know? Won't cover a flop and grope show loss over here. You know what I'm saying? So, what do I think of a long from 2260? Uh, 22600? I like it, man. Do I like it? No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Nope, don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. No. You know what? I, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for flopping and groping on my response here. Look at the four hour looking bullish as heck right here, man. Look at the four hour. Ugh. 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 I slept through this long. I got front run on this long. Now my front run on this long too. Sometimes, guys, you know, it just is what it is. It's one of those dang days. You know, but we can't, we cannot, we cannot freak out here. Right? We can't freak out. We gotta stay patient. We gotta stay calm. We gotta wait. We got to wait. 22,835 looks nice. Yeah. It, it looks nice. It looks super nice. It's right in that zone, guys. We got VWAPs. We got points of controls. We got golden pockets. Six Juanitas. We got Six Juanita and her friend might be there too. But Six Juanita and definitely her sister. 7860 is there. Are we going to bounce? It depends. We'll find out when we get there. Are we going to see the uneven butt cheek pattern? Maybe even the pig nipple divergences? Maybe, guys. Maybe. The pig nipple divergences. Okay? Are those little piglets going to be sucking on the teats? Maybe. Okay? That milk. That milk. Okay? Now, I've never had pig milk. I don't recommend it. Personally, don't even eat swine. Okay? I don't do it. But I do have to say, I guarantee that these pigs, upon drinking... The teats are going to experience some significant gains. Some significant gains, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Michelle says, should I hold my long? I would say, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. You know? Yeah, I'm holding longs. I'm holding long trades right now. I'm in a long now. This long is open still from much lower. But, uh, yeah, I'm holding it now. I think I think we can come up much higher. And I'm in other longs as well, man. Longs too. I'm in, I'm in a few longs right now. I'm in a few longs right now. You know? I'm actually in three of them. So, I'm in two longs right over here. As well. So I'm 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 longed up, you know, I'm as long as they come. They call me JL for J Long. All right, so maybe maybe we're coming down. Maybe we can pull the trigger. Right? Maybe we can pull this trigger here. Let's see what happens. We're at 23K on the dot. 23K, a very, very important level. Right? Do we remember how important 23K was back in the day? 
let's just let's just tear everything off our chart right now okay let's turn everything off our chart right now and let's just reminisce man my armpits guys they are smelling so dang bad it's really messing with me that's probably why I missed the trade 23k look at this level right very very important level resistance resistance consolidation support now resistance again very very key level let's see if we can get a little squizzle above the lip the level a little squizzle above the level guys let's see what can happen here We need a huge pump to stop the massive death cross. The dollar is still rising. Everyone knows the dollar is getting weaker and people start to see that Bitcoin and crypto is the future. So in my opinion, Bitcoin don't don't care too much about the dollar. Yeah, in the long term, I can definitely see that lucky luck. In the long term, I definitely see that. In the short term, though, uh, it is very important to pay attention to the dollar to trade Bitcoin, right? Now, I'm talking about trading Bitcoin. I'm not talking about a long-term hodl. I'm not talking about b building a portfolio here. I'm talking about if we're day trading Bitcoin, we do need to pay attention to what the dollar is doing, right? Dollar's on the rise again, guys. Let's see if the dollar can get a move up to our Fibonacci 618, okay? Again, remember, the 618, very important level. She never will go out on a date with us. She will reject us every single time. It will hurt like a punch in the gut, guys. You just couldn't imagine that it's possible. You know, you're young. You don't think that a girl will reject you. You see the dang movies. All you got to do is walk up to her and be like, sup, right? She's like, oh, hey. Nah, don't work like that, guys. Don't work like that. It didn't work out with 786 yet either. But that was for different reasons. That was for different reasons. Okay, Bitcoin coming on down 22993 here. Let's check out what's happening live. Oh, my goodness. Getting a little move to the downside right now. Nothing too crazy. And honestly, it does look like we actually have some... A little bearishness going on in the chart right here so let's see let's see what happens if your boy decides to pull that trigger we are looking shout out to frankie legend he says don't skip likes today oh man you know guys i i i i, I can't work my legs you know squat racks are for curls they're not for squats they're for curls they're for bicep curls you know those spotter arms are there just so you can drop that bar down and just chill out while everyone else is waiting to do squats. You're resting in between your bicep curl sets. You know, 10 sets of 10 on arm day. Super set with some crunches and some chest flies on the cable fly machine. You know, we are straight broing it up out here. You know. All right, so we have not moved very much throughout the entirety of this stream, so God bless you all for even being here and taking the time. We are looking to potentially get a little long in. We're looking to get a little long in in our zone here. We're already long. You know, we're already long. We're looking to get in a freshie, though, like a freshie. We're looking for a short squeeze. That's what we're looking for right now. That's what I'm sniffing for. I'm sniffing for a short squeeze right here. And honestly, I think we could get one. I think we could get one. Let's see. How's this going to play out for us here? You know, we're coming down to the VWAP again. It's 11, it's 12, 16 p.m. New York time. The New Yorkers are probably at lunch right now. We might have to wait until they get back from eating their New York pizza and stuff. Shout out to, uh, yeah, shout out to, to Frankie Legend, man. Frankie Legend, thank you so much, bro, for the super chat. I really do appreciate you, man. Um... Shout out to Blade. He's new to the channel. He likes the channel. Thank you, man. God bless you. Um, hope Crypto Face Close is short. Um, yeah, bring the likes up to the watchers, guys. We got about 1,200 people, 700 likes. Let's see if we can get those likes up to the watchers, guys. Dang it, man. Is Am I really, am I, is this, is this, you know, this is a little bit of a bummer. So if, if we're just going to be objectively speaking here, right, if I'm just coming to the chart, okay, I would say we're making consistently 
higher lows here that equals bullish four hour time frame giving us hidden bullish divergence big bit boy green dot down here that's bullish one hour time frame giving us regular bullish divergences aka the uneven butt cheek pattern as we can clearly see the left juicy cheek the right skinny cheek you know the right cheek you know that right skinny cheek the one who talks like this uh she's got a brooklyn accent she smokes inside because she don't care she don't care she's coming out with your coffee at the diner right we got her on the one hour over here as well clearly clearly we could see it right here all right that's bullish we come down to our 24 minute time frame what do we see money flow about to cross above the zero line guys guys man i'm trying to get along in here i'm trying to get along in here i'm trying to do it is it gonna work out for your boy i don't know i'm trying to because this is looking like yeah it's looking yeah like there's more upside here i don't know call me crazy but it's a good risk reward ratio man I'm shooting for those highs. I'm short shooting for that short squeeze. Of course, we know, we do know about the CME gaps, right? And right now we are rejecting from the opening of the gap, right? We are, but if we start to fill the gap, and especially if we start to come above the 23700 level right here, man, we are gonna squeeze. We are gonna squeeze like crazy. Like we're in California in the orange orchard, just squeezing just squeezing those oranges shout out to space lord he says he says long and hold on tight really should i long right now if we if we trade the same way and you trade like me then should i enter into a 100x long right now see the chat says the chat says yes 55 percent of people say yes 100x long right now What indicators do I use? Well, I use Market Cipher. I use Coinalize.net and I use Exocharts. Those are the things I use. Market Cipher is a an excellent indicator. All right, let's see what's happening here. We got some shorts coming in. Just a few. About 1.2 million shorts coming in right here. 1.2 million shorts entering on this five minute candle as we come down to the high volume node, the VWAP, the six Juanita Fibonacci. Let's see what happens here, guys. And let's check out the dollar as well. Ooh, dang, dollar's dumping, man. Dollar's getting a little moved down. How's the S&P 500 doing? Oh, man, S&P 500 is getting a nice bounce as well. This is the four-hour time frame. Hang on. Hang on. S&P 500 is not getting a bounce, guys. Please forgive me on that one. Jeez. What a nut idiot. Don't listen to anything I say. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor in any way, shape, or form. I'm just some guy on the internet, guys, with a dang Pokemon Charizard hat over here. So please, please, take it for what it is, guys. All right, so Bitcoin is starting to get a little bit more downside here as we come down to our zone of support. Now, again, if we fall through this thing like a knife through hot butter, there are levels to the more downside to be looking at, but this could be just a nice zone right here. Let's check out our one minute time frame. It looks, it's looking like it could be a little bit nice here. I'm not really enjoying the money flow, to be honest with you. But those higher time frames are looking good. Shout out to Crypto Lifer. He says, do we get to 32K? VPVR gapping. 
Yeah, man, if we break 25, then absolutely. Shout out to Crypto Lifer. Everybody go make sure to subscribe to Crypto Lifer on YouTube. Check out his streams. He's grinded every single day doing live streams. He does more TA for more coins in one live stream than probably any other YouTuber I've ever seen in the space. And he gives good calls. So go subscribe and check him out. God bless you, bro. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, if we can if we can surpass that uh, if we can surpass that level of twenty five thousand, I think we can just get a quick suck move right up to thirty two ish k. In fact, I still have take profits open right now on my longs at the at those levels, man. I've I've got I've got take profits set on my swing longs at those levels right now. Tomorrow we will be at 21.9. Well, that would be nice. That would be nice. Okay. Um, shout out to Double A. Crypto life where everyone loves you in the chat, bro. You're a celebrity up in here. <laughs> if the price is not higher, how low will it go down? It could come down pretty low, guys. I mean, it really could. It could come down kind of low. <laughs> I mean, the truth is, we have our levels to the downside, right? This morning in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. We went over all the levels to the upside and to the downside that we need to be paying attention to. We did the VIP live stream this morning before we went live here. If you want to join the community, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. It's really in-depth TA. I mean, like, you know, there's so many things that could happen. But we do give the levels every single day. Gave the short setup from the top. We gave the long setup from the bottom. We get those levels for scalping in every single day, guys. Also, if you want to learn this stuff, jasoncaspertrading.com, this course will give you the knowledge and the skills you need to become a confident, profitable trader, the point A to point B system. So you can have a plan in advance before you even enter into a trade, right? For example, looking to short 24K when we're at 23K. Right, plan in advance, knew what I was looking for on the chart. Boom. Take the trade. You know what I'm saying? Also, guys, still do have 0% limit fees on Bybit. It's it's a legitimate good deal if you're interested. If you don't know how to trade, please don't do it. But if you do know how to trade, it will save you on fees. Okay, so we're starting to get our move up here, guys, and it looks like I might get front run. I don't know if we're gonna come down to my level. It, it, it's it's a little bit frustrating guys I was front run twice today so the good news I guess is that I'm still in longs but I'm trying to get in a freshie over here let's see if we can do it let's check out our order book man this is looking bullish as heck right now this is looking pretty dang bullish this is looking pretty dang bullish man I have to be honest with you we can see a uh, bullish divergence here I think shorts are kind of about to get wrecked. I think shorts are going to get wrecked. Shorts are about to get wrecked, man. Yeah. Yep, Jonathan says that last drop is where you should have FOMO'd in. I agree. That last drop is where I should have FOMO'd in. But, uh, you know, it's too late now. Let's see. If I FOMO in right now, man, I need a half percent stop loss. 100x, you know? I don't know if that's going to work. But, uh, but dang, right? Let's check this out. We've definitely got some, some uh, absorption of shorts down here. Look at this. 
look at this. <clears throat> we can see very clear. Shout out to uh, Boo Diono Wong. Can I please check out Gala? Yeah, from here to here, we see, we do see some absorption. Yeah, we could check out Gala. We could check out Gala. Let's check out Gala. Gala. Let's check out Gala. All right, look at Gala on the one hour. Let's look at Gala on the one day. So this is Gala on the one day. We are coming up to a local zone of resistance, which is this high volume node here, but we're holding above it as resistance, right? I mean, we're holding above it as support. So it's kind of hard to say like what exactly I'm looking at for Gala here. I mean, this is just massive, massive zones of time. This is like on log scale here. I mean, we can pull a fib from uh, one of those highs and see that we do have some resistance here at the value area high of this massive range. Um, man. Let's see. Let's 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 take a look at our volume from May. All right, so we are at the high volume node of the range from May right now. And so if I was looking to long Gala, personally I would want to see more of a pullback right here. I would really want to see much more of a pullback here. Um I would want to see oh, Man, I mean I would love to see and this might be too dang obvious, but I would love to see like the three cent, 3.3 cent zone because it is the value area low of this range, right? So the way I like to trade is I like to identify the sideways ranges using volume and Fibonacci. We know that we have our high of the range up here. We know that we have our low of the range right here based on volume, support resistance flip right here, value area low, lining up nicely with the Fibonacci golden pocket. It would just make sense that after coming down to the low, coming up, filling the range, the volume area, I should say, that we make our way back down to the low of the range for a higher low to get long from that zone. This is like just a very nice confluence right here. Like if I was looking at this uh, for a long or a buy, I would be saying, look, if we get that pullback, it, that's a pretty significant pullback. If Bitcoin pulls back, we can also see these alts pull back. It's actually only a 40% pullback which is not that crazy considering we have given 325% to the upside. So 40% pullback is not that crazy here. And uh, that would just be a really, really nice long, in my opinion, a, a nice support resistance flip right there. So yeah, that's what I think about Gala. Shout out to you. Thank you for the super chat. <clears throat> Shout out to Memory Man in the chat. Bro, God bless you, man. Thank you for being here, memory man. One of the OGs. Been here for a very long time. We're bouncing on the 15 minute, says somebody. Um, let's, let's get back to our Bitcoin chart. Dang, man. I was absolutely front run on this. You know? It is a bummer, guys. It is a bummer. Dang. You know? That's all I can say. It is a bummer. Been trying to get long all morning. Trying to get long all night and all morning. Kept kept getting front run, guys. Kept getting front run. It's crazy. Three times I've been front run in the past 24 hours by like a few dollars with my plans here. Maybe I just need to front run my dang plans, huh? Shout out to uh, Budiono Wong. God bless you, bro. Thank you for being here. Yeah, that's right. Polls never lie. I should have just taken the dang long trade from 100x long. I asked, should I do it? You guys said yes. I didn't do it. And now we're pumping. Let's check out the dollar. What's the dollar doing? Dollar's still getting a rise. ES. Also getting a little rise here. Nice. 
Can I look at Theta? Asks Jubo. Shout out to James, by the way. What's going on, James? God bless you. Dang, you know? Yeah, let's take a look at Theta. You know, I was just talking about Theta the other night with my with Papa Casper because we were saying, you know what? I wonder what happened to Theta. I was talking to my pops about Theta. How's Theta looking? Man, Theta got hit hard. Oof. Man, Theta got hit hard. Oh. Oh, oh. Is this ever coming back? Do you guys think this thing is ever coming back? Is Theta ever coming back? Is it ever coming back? Man, you know, I I know some people who, who bought a lot of Theta right here and didn't sell any. They're still in profit. Man, this thing. Okay. Let's take a look at Theta. She's... Man. I, I I don't even know where to start with this. We'll go back to May, as we always do. If you have any hope in Theta, if you're bullish on Theta... Then, um... I don't know. I don't really like the look of this, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm not jiving with it, no. Nah. <clears throat> I'm not jiving with it, nope. No, I'm not. I'm not jiving with this at all. I mean, from a technical standpoint, I'm not jiving with it. I don't, I don't know if, if y'all have like a reason for it. The reason I'm not driving with it from a technical standpoint is because I, I don't see a good entry point, right? When I analyze the volume here that's traded since May, look at this. We haven't even hit that high volume node yet. That means if we wait for a pullback, we haven't really gotten confirmation of an uptrend at all, in my opinion, based on volume. I know we've put in a higher high, but it's like I would have want to like reclaimed this high volume node to say, look, there's, there's a sign of strength. Now we can look to long to lower high. But to me, this is a sign of weakness. We haven't even been able to come up to the high volume node here. And we're already getting bearish divs on the one day and we haven't even come up to the high volume node. Let's pull out some fibs. We didn't even come up to the six Juanita. We came up to the local hometown 618 to here. I don't know. So, like, here's here's the way I would look at it. We are forming some kind of sloppy falling wedge pattern. So the only potential entry I would see here is maybe a retest of the of the trend line with the golden pocket. But then you have to think to yourself, you're you're longing into support. I mean, you're longing into resistance. So, I don't know. I don't really like the look of Theta, to be honest with you. Okay? I actually do hold some Theta on spot. I sold a lot of Theta in 2021. I sold a lot of it. Because I got into it in the summer of 2020. And I was just thinking about it the other night. That's why I was talking to my dad about it. I'm like, I wonder what ever happened to Theta. My dad has some Theta. Yeah, I don't know. That's my take on it. So, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. Bitcoin's breaking out right now. Let's take a look. Dang, yeah. Should have 100x longed it. You know, should have 100x longed it. <clears throat> Man, front run. <clears throat> Would you look at that, guys? Front run. Front run. 
Ooh, man, money flow looking bullish on the 24 minute. You know, this is a four hour, 24 minute setup. Technically, we got the money flow cross right here coming in. <coughs> Sorry, I keep having to clear my throat up in here. Let's see what's happening now on this order flow chart. Wow. Yep. Look at that, man. Look at that. We got, we did get some, some bullish absorption of the shorts trap down low. We started to squeeze them out, man. Well, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Anders M Michelson thinks it's a fake out. Doge wants to go up. Sell in May and run away. Cardano's pumping. Bitcoin is pumping, baby. If I was long right now, what would be my first TP? My first TP would be the CME gap, man. So that's at like 23,350. Right around up here. I would hold out for it. I would hold out for it. Because if I, if I was long now, if I did get my entry, that's a good entry if I had gotten it. Man. What a bummer, guys. What a dang bummer. Front run by. Alright guys, I'm not going to FOMO into a long right now. I apologize. I apologize for not FOMOing. But I do have to say, I do have to say that I really do think, based on everything I'm seeing right now, that there is a, a, a pretty significant chance that we take out the high. Especially if we can come up above our green box, right? Our green box. That is a very significant level, the green box. So let's let's see. Green box is resistance 23,350. CME gap value area high. We got some daily levels up in here. We got some other confluences up in here. Golden pocket up in here. Let's see what can happen. But in the meantime, I do have to head out, guys. I have to head out. I got some stuff to do today. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Even if you're not religious, I pray that God bless you. And that the Lord would reveal himself to you in a personal way. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May he shine light upon you and have grace upon you. And may the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace in Jesus' name. I will see everybody in the next live stream. Take it easy, guys. Remember to stick to the plan and don't FOMO. Peace.